One of the easiest and most effective ways to reduce your exposure to environmental contaminants is to filter your water. But there are a lot of different filter types out there. Let's go over the types and their pros and cons. Carbon-based filters trap and reduce contaminants as water flows through a filter made of high carbon materials. Pros. These filters have a lower upfront cost and are easier to maintain. Cons. They don't remove all contaminants. Reverse osmosis filters sold for home installation usually include one or two activated carbon filters, which means they can reduce or remove a wide range of contaminants. After the initial filtration, water is pushed under pressure through a membrane that blocks contaminants and pollution particles smaller than a water molecule. Pros. This is the most effective filtration method, filtering a wide range of contaminants, including arsenic, hexavalent chromium, nitrate, and perchlorate. Cons. These filters have a higher upfront cost, they're harder to maintain, and they waste water. The ion exchange process is commonly used to reduce levels of calcium and magnesium, preventing buildup in plumbing fixtures and appliances. It can also reduce contaminants like barium and radium, which may be present in some tap water. Pros. These filters soften hard water while removing some contaminants. Cons. They don't remove many contaminants. Whole house filters are installed at the point which water enters the home so that all taps and appliances receive filtered water. They can use activated carbon, ion exchange, or reverse osmosis technology. Pros. They provide filtered water throughout the home and remove contaminants contaminants that pose inhalation risks, like TCE and radon. Cons. They are expensive to install and maintain, they require proper upkeep to prevent bacterial growth, and sometimes a point of use system works just as well. For more information and a guide to find out what filter might be right for you, go to ewg.org slash tapwater.